לפחות. אוקיי, אז היום אנחנו נעבור מהטורה הטקסט and we move uh, from uh, stories of uh, of uh, Abraham to the stories of Jacob and with that we move from theft which is a Noahide number four to uh, uh, justice which is a Noahide number five. And uh, in, in fact, in, in, as you can see in the text, all the, all the stories, all the stories about Jacob revolve around one issue, which is the justice, justice in civil order. Uh, in a, I'll give you an example. Uh, so, Uh, uh, the, the stories of Jacob start with a, his struggle with his brother, Esau, around one issue. Who is going to be the firstborn? Now, being firstborn uh, status, uh, the status uh, allow you to get uh, twice as much heritage beside the blessing, spiritual blessing. So it's a civil issue. Who is going to be uh, the firstborn? So Jacob had claim. They were twins. And uh, there were many, he, and he sold it to Jacob moreover. So Jacob had his own claim. Esau had his own claim. But the struggle with them is about who is right? Who, 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 is, who is the lawful uh, firstborn? according to the law, according to the ju justice. And then also the question is, who is really qualified to be the firstborn? That's another issue too. But the, the whole struggle with them is around, around justice and civil order, under category of civil order. Then he ran away, he, he, cheat, he, cheat his, he, he cheats back, if you want. Esau, and as a result, he has to run away. If you take the law for you in your hand, uh, it could be that that's the end. The result is uh, he has to you, he run away for his life. And uh, he, he goes to Laban, and there he cheated again, being cheated again. Uh, Laban gave him the wrong girl, the wrong sister, despite their agreement. So that's again an issue of who is right, civil right, justice. And then the story continues. As you know, he worked for Laban for several years and without any good compensation. And he charged Laban, you know, I worked for you for so many years. At the, at the summer, autumn is sun, and at the uh, cold of winter, in the snow, and you didn't pay me anything. That's clearly a, a civil right issue. Just fairly. It's not about God, it's about justice. And then finally, when he come back to the land of Israel, and then of course he cheat Laban back, and the result is that he has to run for his life. And when he uh, comes to the end of Israel, uh, his daughter, Dina, is abducted and raped by the son of the city mayor, Shrem. That's again an issue of civil rights. He has a right to live in the city peacefully without the daughter being abducted. Regardless of the story there was revolving, but the issue is clearly civil right. 
So all the stories of Jacob can be painted, if you want, uh, with one color. Let's say we, be, uh, we decided in, in, in the past to, uh, per, to paint it, let's say, in purple. The same way we painted Abraham's stories uh, with green, because all of them revolve around theft. And the same way we we had painted Noah stories from Cain and Abel to the flood with red, because all of them could uh, involve, uh, consider, or revolve around bloodshed. And the same way we painted uh, uh, the story of Eden uh, with, paint, with pink, because it's all about love, heavenly love and human love, as well as betrayal of love, adultery, and so on. All, so or Eden is pink. And chapter one, which teach, teaches us idolatry, is red. As they, they decided, go. So they, they, if you go this way, uh, you, you see that the book of Genesis, is uh, written by Moses in such a way he takes the reader step by step through the commandment. First of all, we learn the commandment order. We have now the right order that Moses thought about. And secondly, uh, as a Noahide, if you want to know anything about justice, here you are. The Torah give you Moses writing the story of Jacob, and it, it, it highlight issues that around justice that you would never, never thought about, think about otherwise. The same way that he wrote the story of uh, Abraham and the theft, which uh, touches so many issues that uh, in around theft that uh, no one should know. And uh, certainly the story of Eden and idolatry. So uh, the, this, the Torah, the, this is a Torah given to us. The Torah is given to us to learn and to derive conclusion. So here you are as a Noahide. This is the DNA of Noahide movement to know about the seventh commandment and to teach them. What do you need to teach? Not just write the headline on the, on the board. You need to you say, open up the story of Jacob and, and, and study it and you'll understand what justice is. Because if you learn it in detail, we're not do, gonna do it there in our class. To, to, you can read it, uh, read it in detail verse by verse and, and story by story, you will learn a lot about uh, injustice and just social story. The same way you learn about theft with Abraham and so on. So um, now the question is, uh, and it, uh, I, in fact, I should, I should have said uh, the name of the class, if I had to put the name of our class, it will be, how can Noahide be holy? That's I would put as a headline of justice number one, of okay, class number one, how can no hide be holy? So here comes the question. Knowing just what I've said, uh, the question arises, if so, if the book of Genesis take us from one commandment to commandment, so where, where is the point where well, Noahide can learn how to be holy. I heard this question in, in, your, in, in, in your group. People asked me sometime in the past, how can I be in holy? And uh, I, in the past, other people in other classes asked me the same question. Uh, for Israel, it's, it's, it's easy, it's, so to be, it's clear. You follow the Israel follow the six hundred command, six hundred thirteen commandment, and the commandment make us holy. How do I know? Uh, because in in Leviticus, 
in Leviticus, uh, the Torah says uh, uh, that uh, I will quote to you, uh, and God said to Moses, tell Israel, I am holy and you should be holy. Keep up my commandment. Uh, a man should, should honor or fear his father and mother, should observe the Sabbath, should leave a portion of the field for the poor. It goes to the list of the commandment. So by but this is it. so how how do we tell Israel how should we be law holy? Keep the commandment. The commandment on the Ten Commandments, which are split into all the six hundred and thirteen. So and, and that's why when I do a commandment, okay. When I, when I as a, as a member of Israel, I do a commandment, I, I made a special blessing. I say, before I do the commandment, before I take the Lurav, I say, bless you Hashem, the king of the universe, who, uh, who, who the king of the universe, who have made us holy in his, by his commandment, Bless you, Hashem Elohim, for uh, King of the Universe, who made us holy through this commandment, and who gave us this uh, commandment to take the lulav or to do this or that. So I mentioned right away before the command, doing any commandment, that I become holy by the commandment. And, uh, and uh, so this is the third, I have a lot of opportunity to do that, 613 commandments, so to speak. But uh, Noah is only seven. Can Noah be also holy by the commandment? By the way, the whole idea of commandment is really unique to Judaism. Because if you think about it, other religions, I uh, would say, how do how should the person be holy? Uh, go to leave everything, go to monastery, seclude yourself there, uh, live modestly, chant sounds, and uh, and uh, wait for the second coming. Uh, yeah, you can do good things, but the main thing is secluding yourself from the society. A woman should leave her family and and, and be married to, to, to the church or whatever. That's how you become holy. Uh, and in Israel, the monasteries are built on the way to Jericho. There is a huge body with tall walls, straight up walls very deep. And the monasteries are built on the wall in a way that uh, a person can climb up there maybe once a month on the rock or somewhere. They are totally secluded from society. So that's a way to become holy. Other, other religions would say how to become holy. You sit in a cave, Where uh, let your hair grow, your nail grow. Again, seclude yourself. Leave all the all the foolishness of the world behind you. Uh, commit yourself to God. Walk on nails, and you become holy, and so on. So the com com common thread of all of all religions around the world. Holiness is usually attached to someone to take it, take, make it, take you away, take yourself away from the foolishness of mundane life. Don't waste your life on some foolishness that's passing or pass away. Dedicate yourself to worship Hashem, to, to chant, to study, to meditate, whatever. 
and that's make you holy. Come to the evening and say, wait a minute. And Hashem says, be holy by doing the commandment. Doing the commandment means and, and, and go or the opposite. Go. Uh, you cannot. Uh, you cannot fulfill the commandment by sitting in a cave. You need a congregation. You need a house. You need a home. You need society. There is not the whole life in society is full of commandment. Every everything you do during the day is is uh, involved in this. Uh, it is pursuing the commandment or implementing the, co the commandment of God in 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 the in mundane mundane day. So the idea of being holy through the commandment is really strange, and it's really exceptional. Even Islam, who who actually uh, at least say. Uh, present itself as close to the to, to the Judaism as possible, but their idea of holiness is also a Sufi philosopher who will think about philosophy of God, uh, compose po poetry, and swirl around beautiful dance uh, to ecstasy, and he connect to God. No one uh, think in Islam there that uh, to 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 that to, uh, a way to to connect to be holy is to fulfill God's commitment, God command. In fact, they don't even recognize beside beside prayer, four times a day. Four times a day is a, one of the commandments. So if I if I perform if I do pray as God in the way that God commanded me. Connect to him in uh, as a service to Hashem through prayer. I I become holy through the prayer. It's all right, but this is only one of the six hundred fourteen. So let's go back to our question. How can a Noachai, with only seven commandments, be holy? So. How can then, how can then, uh, what is holiness? Really, that's the time to ask the question. What do I mean uh, being holy? If I say that the holy temple is holy in Jerusalem, I mean that there is a holiness in the place. Most scholars will say, uh, non-Jews non, non or non-religious. So the holiness means that the place is forbidden to go. If a place is secluded, it's forbidden to go. Oh, this place is holy, don't go there. That's true. The holy temple uh, is holy, and, that, and you cannot approach it. it only a few people can enter it. A certain time under certain circumstances, but say it's in, inaccessible to the regular person. So that's one aspect of, of holiness. Uh, that's a forbidden place for uh, talking about the, the holiness of the temple. And later on, we talk about the holiness of man, but holiness of temple, as an example, is a, a uh, the fact that I cannot enter it. But that's not enough. Uh, there are places that I forbid, I'm forbidden to go because it's filthy. So why do you take the, the fact that the, uh, the, forbid, the, for, the prohibition to enter as a sign that is holy? Not, not at all. Yes, a place of holiness is expressed by the fact, expressed by, by, by the prohibition to enter. But certainly, there is some positive element in the temple, something positive that renders it all in holy place. Not just a prohibition, 
but there is something positive in the element in the temple that I would call holiness. And what is it? The Shekhinah. The presence of the Shekhinah in the holy temple under the cherub, under the, the under the wing of the cherub, that render the entire temple holy. That was the case in the first temple, where there was a holy ark and a cherub, and the Shekhinah really was seen there. There was clearly evidence, many a miracle happened in the temple, but it showed that the Shekhinah is there. The second temple where there was no ark, no cherub, the Shekhinah was not there anymore because of what happened. Well, the second temple didn't have the same kind of holiness. It has only rabbinical holiness, if you wish. But not the Shekhinah was not there. So genuine holiness means uh, that the positive presence of Shekhinah why the Sabbath is holy? Because the Sabbath is perceived as a dwelling with the presence of Shekhinah in time, in the temple of time, in the dimension of time. The Shekhinah can be in three dimensions in the temple, but she also can be in the fourth dimension of time. The Sabbath. So now, if if saying that a person is holy by the commandment, what does the Torah mean? The Torah mean means that uh, the Shekhinah enter us by doing positive commandment. Wow. And and, uh, and 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 there are two elements. The Shekhinah enter us, like the like Holy Temple has negative, there are negative commandments and positive commandments. Negative commandment thou should not do, and positive commandment oh, you should do. Obviously, obviously, if I follow just a negative commandment, I don't do anything. I just don't kill. I don't steal. It's good. But it's not, it's not enough to make me holy. In order to be elevated to holiness, I need to do positively the commandment. To draw her to me through the positive commandment. It's like a temple has two aspects. First of all, you don't prohibition to and to go close. And then there is a positive thing that's our presence. So we need negative commandment to render us, to qualify us to the next step of doing positive commandment. If I violate theft, and I violate, I violate, uh, uh, if I violate uh, adultery. And I sing and I come to the temple, I sing hallelujah. Oh, I, I, God will despise me. Instead of getting holiness, I, I, will, I will be thrown to hell, so to speak. She will, she will, she will, she will push me away. So it, you, in order to go up to, to elevate yourself to holiness, you first need to follow the negative commandment, and then you go to the positive one. The positive one will connect Hashem to you. How, how does it work? How does it work that I do positive commandment and, and the Shekhinah enter my heart. 
well, uh, there, there, are many, uh, there are many, there are great literature about it. Uh, Hasidut, but Hasidism teaches us that somehow when the commandment of God, it really changes our body. Uh, 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 our liver is not the same. Our uh, heart is not the same. Our physical presence in this world is not the same. And it renders us, uh, uh, render us capable of absorbing Hashem into our body. That's the Hasidut. It's not necessarily works like this. It's all spiritual level. And I understand that uh, in order to get the positive in the Shrina to enter us, she and, and when she comes here, she cut it. She, you do the good thing. You want to attract her to to your to your heart. Well, when she enter it and she see there yeah, what you have done, that you committed the negative thing, the adultery, adultery, she will run away from you. She will not continue to, to dwell in you. So you need to clean yourself first of all by abiding by Elohim law. Prohibitions, and then you climb to the positive thing. Okay, we got the idea. So let's go back to Noachai. I have seven commandments. Which one of them are negative? Which one of them are positive? Idolatry, number one, surely negative. Don't worship idols. That's it. Yeah, there is a positive aspect. You should worship Hashem, but that's not a commandment. The commandment itself is negative. Adultery. There is a positive aspect. Uh, you should marry your wife, but the, but the, the commandment is negative. Do not commit adultery. It's a negative command. Number three, bloodshed. Do not shed blood. Theft, do not steal, don't abduct. All of them are negative. Which one of them is positive? Also blasphemy, negative. Which one of them is positive? Number five, justice. Turn out that from six of commandments that Adam received in Eden, which are the base of the Torah, Noah only added one, but basically the, the, the six are the core of everything. So all, only justice, pursuing justice, is a positive commandment that allows me uh, if I if I fulfill it, it connects me to Hashem, and the Shekhinah will 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 dwell on me. Uh, wait a minute, justice. What is justice to do with the Shekhinah? What is justice to do with holiness? You, certainly, you ask yourself. I know holiness is uh, singing. Cathedral, choir, whatever, but to study about the uh, end of time, Satan, Revelation, the soul, justice? What is justice to do with the dwelling of holiness in your heart? I'm not a, I'm so more more than player, more than uh, anything else. Just so, what is that to do? So, what is? Let's be more elaborate a little bit. What 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 exactly do I need to do? In order to implement justice, the Rambam, the Rambam says four things. One of them, set up a just judiciary system. 
Number two, set up courthouses in every district. Stand up and do it. The language is stand up and do it. Stand up and and and, and elect judiciary system. Just just law. Stand up and 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 elect courthouses. Stand up and elect qualified judges. Judges that are strong character, don't take bribe. They are truthful people. They qualified according to Yitro. When Yitro came to Moses, he advised Moses about the judges. Yitro was a Nohai. So here come a Nohai and tell Moses uh, what kind of judges he should be elect for, for, for this bit, for this commandment. So, and, so uh, elect judges. Number four would be set up lawyer police to enforce it. So you, you need to stand up and do a lot of things. Maintain things, apparently maintain things. If you do that, the Shekhinah will enter your heart. Boom, again. What, 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 are, you, what are you saying? What is the connection? I understand that justice is a good way to society to handle itself, uh, to secure the welfare of people and so on. It's a, it's a, a common common arrangement, agreement between people, as philosopher, a German philosopher. So I understand that. But Shekhinah? Coin to a halt by, by erecting erecting courts by selecting judges by uh, police. But what is that to do with Shekhin? So, uh, is there any other positive commandment of the six? No. That's really, we have no, no other commandment positive to get to, to Hashem, to get Hashem love, to, to make Hashem loving us and, and, and enter in our heart. I mean, they talk about the Shekhinah. But justice. So, how can I explain the connection? And here we go very deep. We go deep, 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 deep as it can be. And, and this is as follows. When I do justice, I emulate whom? Elohim, the heavenly court, the, the, the heavenly judge. The heavenly judge there is, is a judge who follows the truth, who pray, who, who retribution is measure for measure, and, and he sit all day and judge, judge uh, all, or the entire universe. Once a year, Rosh Hashanah, he passes judgment on the entire universe. So by 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 doing by by doing a, a by issuing a just verdict, by seeking the truth, and by doing by by issuing a just verdict, I have emulated. Elohim is possibly human. What about creating, if I create iPhone? Elohim also is a smart, uh, be, a wisdom of Elohim is, is shown in the universe. 
So why not, why don't, if I create this iPhone, you can say also emulate Elohim, no. Elohim created the universe from nothing. What we do in our wisdom, we just rearrange things. So we don't really emulate Elohim in, in that era, but we do emulate Elohim by issuing, by sitting in, ju in judgment and by the judge issuing a, a, a truthful verdict as much as it could, humanly possible. So, <clears throat> but if I, um, If I, if I fulfill, now if you go to the list of the commandment and you ask yourself which one, of course, what, only by judgment. I cannot, I cannot emulate Elohim by, by, by doing, by fulfilling adultery. Elohim never involved in adultery. It's given to me, but Elohim himself is never involved in it. Bloodshed the same way. Theft the same way. So all the commandment that we keep is an, a negative one have nothing to do with the Lokim work. It's only given to us. But but justice is a part. Posit justice is the way that I positively positively emulate Lokim. So uh, again, uh, it's, it stands out suddenly, justice is the only way that I could connect not only the Shekhin, but even to Elohim, emulate him. All the rest of the commandment are just prohibition, but this is a positive way that I emulate him. Fine, what about the Shekhin The whole purpose is to to be if I if I want to be holy means it's a holy holiness is not in the eyes of Elohim. My holiness is in the eyes of the Shrina YHVH, the attribute of mercy. She wants she needs to come to my heart. How can what is keeping the law or what is keeping justice uh, uh, to do with the Shrina? Why is she involved? And here is a profound insight that I promise you. Because why is the Shekhinah here to start with? Who invited her? You remember the story of Genesis. Uh, at the beginning, Elohim wanted to create the, the six days by himself. Rashi says, seeing that the world, the universe will not, or the, the world will not endure, especially with Adam. Adam will not endure such a harsh scrutiny. So Elohim gave him, wanted to give Adam a chance to to win his trial, so he asked a bit of mercy to join. So by definition, she came here to ameliorate our judgment of Elohim, to oppose him, to ameliorate him. That was the beginning. Then chapter two tell you that the uh, world was recreated by Hashem Elohim. The two cherubs side by side. Here they appear in love, in agreement. Here they appear in love, in agreement. So, and, and uh, she is not ameliorating Elohim. She is not opposing Elohim. The two cherubs touching it touching each other by wing by wing, they form the child Adam, 
they look at him with love, and they themselves shows heavenly love. Everything is pink there. On 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 which and, and they give him the sex six commandment. All the commandments that he gave, they gave to Adam are all negative ones. And, and 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 with adultery, adultery, theft, and bloodshed, she act if she if we sin, uh, she act as opposing as, as to ameliorate our, our judgment. She still, with regarding to all the commandments that they gave us, she is still here as she came for. She came to to, amel to ameliorate the verdict, to make it easier for us. But when it comes to justice, number five, she loved it too. This is the only commandment that the two attributes love mankind together with total agreement. If in the eyes of Hashem, if you commit justice, if you don't take advantage of the poor or the weak, listen, this is the entire Jeremiah right there. What are the prophets of Israel shouting you? Shouting many things, but especially how they how they dare to, to commit injustice. God, who, who hate you? The Shekhinah hate you. Does the Shekhinah love justice as much as Elohim? No other commandment is shown in no, no other commandment. Because with all the other commandments, she is there to ameliorate, to, to oppose, to offer forgiveness. Forgiveness means uh, Elohim should come down. Let's forgive our child. But when you do positive, positive, positive commandment of, of justice, here the two attributes stand together in love. With no, with no call about, it, no, no, no debate about it between them. They look at us with heavenly love, and as oneness, in oneness, they stand in as one. So the oneness of Hashem is is implemented in the world through justice. That's a strange idea. It's not, you don't hear it in Christianity, you don't hear it in Islam, you don't hear it in Buddhism, you don't hear it anywhere. But oneness of Hashem, the two attributes that usually are opposing each other, you know when they are we, you know when they show up we against we, we love, the Moses depicted them as a boy and a girl looking at each other with love, you know when? When you implement justice and Jeremiah is happy and Isaiah is happy and Amos is happy. Yes, there are other things, of course. But injustice? How dare you do this? So this is why Number five, which is also pertained to Noahide. So, so number five is a way to become holy. If you stand up and do these things, you become holy. You don't have to, to run to the water, and to baptize yourself with water. You don't have to sing hallelujah. There is no ceremony. Nobody put a water on your head. Nobody call you a saint or something like that. Simply follow justice 
implement justice society, and Ashokhina will be, and the rest will come automatically. Or you say, oh, that's only for me, only for Noahide. What about Israel? So I'll give you a revelation from, our, from, from the Parsha, this week's Parsha. You know when the, chain, the name chain, changed to Israel? When Jacob found justice, he was seeking justice all his life. When he finally faced Isa face to face. And they came in an agreement the justice happened, the true justice happened, because he's a recognizer. Not by the by the law, but because genuinely Jacob was, was the right heir of Abraham. He's a recognized it finally. So seeking the truth, justice is seeking the truth. Finally, he's a recognized the truth, says Fatemi. When Isa found the truth, Israel was elevated to 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 the name of uh, Jacob was elevated to Israel. Became, so Israel was born with with the, with the implementing of justice, and Israel is here to spread justice in the world. So Israel too. Is very much the holiness of Israel evolves stem out from 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 seeking justice, not different than Morachai. Israel though has one more step to go higher. Is the Sabbath. There is one more step higher if you keep the Sabbath. That's a different topic. Is that's that's what makes it different uh, and higher, so to speak, not higher, but closer to the Shekhinah by keeping the Sabbath. But as the rest of it, beside that, Israel is equal to Noah in holiness. Listen, holiness and that was a doubt to Jacob, not by circumcision. Abraham circumcised himself, did not qualify for that. As opposed to many people who think that circumcision makes Israel holy, it's not, it's not by the Torah. What Israel, what, what elevated Israel and, and can elevate Noah is to holiness is to observe number five in the name of Israel. I'll tell you a legend that can, can uh, a story that can uh, depict this, uh, what I've just said, you know, when the angel in the morning, Jacob overcame his, uh, the angel and he was on the ground. So, the sun came up and the angel plead, pleaded, let me go because the sun does, the sun go, is up. So Rashi says, what did, why, is the, where is the angel going? The answer is he went, he goes up to sing with the, with the 70 nations, angels, uh, they sing every morning, holy, holy, holy. So the angel goes up. And he says to, to Jacob, but your name is Israel. And you are qualified to sing holy, holy, holy from the ground. That story we repeat it in every 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 time I stand Shmon uh, Amida prayer in public of ten Jews, I I I say Kedusha, holiness, and I repeat the story of the angels. And we Israel sing holy from the ground. So being being uh, which means being holy endowed me 
without me the ability to sing holy from the ground, whereas the angels sing it up, up, up in the heaven. Could be, why not Noahide? Moses, the Talmud says, Moses kept the, the holiness uh, to only to those, and, and also circumcision, he kind of took it to, to Israel only and, elev and ele elevated it only to those who keep the Sabbath. And that's Moses. But here from our story, could be that uh, all Noahide could, could have been involved in circumcision and also in in holiness of 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 uh, of, of uh, Jacob here, but Moses took it to confide it because he was he formed he formed the Israel as a as a, as a congregation that uh, keep the Sabbath. So that's the story of the Sabbath, which is one more step what we are talking here. So the question is, if you sum up here, how do how would Noahide seek holiness, send your children to yeshiva. They can learn justice. Who said that? Ramban here said. All the Noahites should learn the Talmud. What part of the Talmud? The, the part of, especially the Talmud, 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 part of the Talmud that involve or deal with this, the justice and theft which is a major part of the Talmud. Take you years to, st to study. So send your children to Yeshiva and so they can learn, like the children of Israel at that age. They also uh, don't, they don't spend time on, 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 the, on, a, on video game, but instead they sit, imagine teenagers, they sit hours, and study the law of justice and theft. Six hours a day, 10 hours a day, even four hours a day. Send your children there and you see what happens. You see how holy they will be. And uh, order the Talmud, buy it, put it in your shelves, read it, teach it especially those law of justice, and you will become, uh, know how I become holy. So here is a, uh, we answer the question, how could Zohar be holy? Like Israel. Follow, follow the, follow the law of justice, implement justice, and that's the only positive, only positive commandment that you can do that's open to everyone to get the Shekhinah, to, to attract the Shekhinah into your heart. She will not come to, the, to your heart if you just sway in, 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 in ecstasy and, and pray and what. She is not. She will come to your heart if she sees that the, the po only positive commandment you do to attract her, it's been implemented. Okay, uh, so time is run. You have any questions for me? I have a question, Rabbi. I would like to know, uh, just now you mentioned that um, Abraham himself didn't even uh, receive this uh, justice uh, prize, so to speak, but Jacob did. Uh, sorry for my ignorance, but can I ask you, if Jacob was given the birthright through unjust means, through, uh, you know, Rebecca dressing him up to look like he, uh, his brother, how do you reconcile that justice part with him getting the prize called, you know, where he wrestled with the angel and he then he got the, his name changed from Jacob to Israel. As what you said, it's like nobody else got it, but he he achieved it. So I would like to just ask, 
how in the history your yeah. voice wakes up oh i'm so sorry so I, I, I yeah no, oh sorry it's the more the, uh, the uh i'm going back to the history of how rebecca uh well so to speak tricked uh What, what did you say? I think we've lost her, Rabbi. Uh, her voice was really boring. Off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry if it sounds rude. It's not rude. It's not meant to be rude. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What was the question again? Oh, sorry. Sandy, am I breaking up? Sorry. <laughs> we did lose oh, you I'm there for a, for, for a little bit. You were kind of breaking up. Oh, I see. So do you have time for me to repeat again? Yeah. My uh, question? Ask me the question you wanted to ask. Yeah, I was asking that in the history, the leading up uh, to uh, it, Jacob being uh, uh, the father of the 12 nations, his background was that his mother helped him to, to sort of swindle his father of the birthright from his elder brother to himself. So in that sense, it's not just. That act was not just. So can I ask how to, to reconcile an unjust act to justice, which later J Jacob did receive justice. That's why his name was changed to Israel. Yeah, That's the uh, question. Your question, yeah. Like, if I understand, your question is like this. Ah. Why, how could he cheat in ah. order to achieve to achieve his truth? Yes, yes, it's yes, you're right. Like, like, yeah. So it's yes. like two opposing Ah, uh, Yes, absolutely, the, yeah. The answer is, uh, mm. I, the answer is, uh, is that uh, when you seek justice, mm. when you seek justice and there is no court around, mm. and you want, uh, let's say, he cheated Laban. Mm -hmm. Laban didn't pay. Didn't pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to implement justice, to make it even, uh, he had, actually he had no way. He couldn't go to any court. You had no mm -hmm. way but to cheat Laban again. Isa, mm -hmm. Isa, mm -hmm. Isa was according to the to the Talmud. Isa mm -hmm. excel in cheating. Mm -hmm. uh, when the Torah said that Imaus was full of hunting, he hunted mm -hmm. people. So in order mm -hmm. to, in order to, in order to implement justice against Isa, who was cheating all 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 day long. Mm -hmm. People and, and friends and everyone. So Rebecca, mm -hmm. Rebecca advised Jacob mm -hmm. uh, that he should cheat back. He should back not not as a profession, not to become a professional liar, mm -hmm. but to implement it. Sometimes, sometimes sometime he has no way, uh, but to 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 cheat back, as long mm -hmm. as you walk on the level. Of measure for measure. Mm -hmm. The question is, when it comes in the eyes of Hashem, in the mm -hmm. one, mercy mm -hmm. one, uh, it may she may she may have a different idea, but in mm -hmm. your eyes, uh, since you you since uh, you you try to implement justice, you come to mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's so. It, 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 again, it, it's like, like, like uh, I give an example, uh, a person is a killer. If I execute a killer, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I kill a man, but uh, there, it's a just act. Mm -hmm. I, I, I kill a person who deserves to be killed. Mm -hmm. I cheat a person who deserves to be cheated. Mm -hmm. So you can look at this, this uh, this way. Anyhow, mm. Jacob had learned to abandon that way. Mm -hmm. Finally, finally met the angel of, of Esau face to face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here they could not cheat, neither he mm -hmm. nor Esau. 
Mm -hmm. If they're facing each other face to face with the whole truth, mm -hmm. who among them is qualified to be the heir of Abraham? The truth. Mm -hmm. Because justice is mm -hmm. taking the truth out. And the truth came out when finally the angel succumbed to mm -hmm. each other and say, okay, you won. You are the truthful heir of Abraham. And I, mm -hmm. up, I go my back. I, mm -hmm. I, I leave the contest. So here, mm -hmm. the, 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 so they climb up to a, to a, another step. Instead of fighting mm -hmm. each other for the truth, like before, when they face each other, nobody's seeing there. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, the two of them, but for themselves, they decided. Uh, I mean, the, the truth came out. So, mm -hmm. the, and the name, and once the truth came out, mm -hmm. it's named in this way, for the seeking the really true truth, his name was elevated to, to Israel. So, mm -hmm. Israel again is born while, while Jacob bring out the truth, not mm -hmm. By the, not by fighting with the hand of Esau. He, he mm -hmm. you know, his hand, his own hand, look, he had two end of e Jacob look like, look, uh, look like the hand of Esau. Rebecca mm -hmm. him to pretend to, to use his hand like Esau. Mm -hmm. So as long as he was doing what Rebecca told him, mm -hmm. to use his own hand like Esau, and mm -hmm. fighting Esau, Esau back, cheating him back, the way of Esau, mm -hmm. he, he always had to run for his life. Mm -hmm. But uh, when he came, when he wanted truth, a true, a true mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. consented to it with peace, that's a, that's a different, that, that truth, mm -hmm. and the truth came out. Uh, so that's basically, uh, mm -hmm. so that's a, so justice, it, the, 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 uh, what they can derive from here is justice mm -hmm. not just following the dry law mm -hmm. who win according to the law mm -hmm. you can actually follow the law and not not get the truth for, uh, the truth out mm -hmm. but uh, you need to seek a, a truth a true justice is done when the essence the truthfulness mm -hmm. is coming out mm -hmm. So Thank you for explaining yeah. it so 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 well that it um yeah it's to a different plane of uh, elevation. I understand. Yeah. Who you really are? Mm. You really are. Are you really mm -hmm. her? Are you really her of Abraham or not? Mm -hmm. it, it's a uh, violated all the law. Now you want to get the shechina on him? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he said. You cannot come, mm -hmm. you cannot come to a shame and tell him I want. I'm the firstborn. Mm -hmm. Tell me with the shechina. Well, mm -hmm. he 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 did everything the opposite. He violated all. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. So so and opposed to Jacob, mm -hmm. who who kept the law and kept his, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, he was more qualified spiritually mm -hmm. in his character. Mm -hmm. It's got much more than that, but that's basically the answer here. Mm -hmm. That's very, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Any other question? Yes, Rabbi, I have one. It's kind of in three parts. Um, in regards to establishing the courts of justice, yes, the system that we have in America today, our judicial system, we have a system, we have courthouses, we have judges. Yes. We have police. Yes. Does all of that fulfill this commandment, or are you talking about we would have a separate system? No, uh, I, I read I read article about this, and most rabbis who wrote about it, almost all of them, agree hundred percent that the law that the law of uh, of United States are just law, and this is malchut malchut chesed the. the United States is a kingdom of 
chesed of grace and uh, and compassion and certainly uh, justice just just law only that uh, if you want to improve yourself to learn what exactly the Torah means about it, what the Torah says what what is what does God say tell us tell what did God tell to Moses about just so you learn the Talmud and you compare and you start draw some some in conclusion for future laws. When when you elected to the to the Congress, now you know what to vote for, and so on. But certainly, as it is now, uh, United States is probably the only country in the world beside Israel. Uh, I don't know any other country that's really so close to 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 just uh, than than America, of course. Hopefully, it will, it will not change to the world. But as yeah. far as now, all the rabbinical article agree. I mean, you don't have to copy. You don't have to imitate uh, the Torah law. Absolutely not. It's not that you follow. It, it doesn't dictate no hard way. Uh, it's only you deserve, you, when you learn the Talmud, you get all kind of uh, idea and rules what the Torah really mean by justice. And you cannot you cannot talk about it unless you learn it. Unless you, you absorb yourself and, and 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 think about it and meditate about it. And then you finally come out, wow, now I know what, what justice is. But now I know what the civil order is. Now I know what theft is and so on. In, in the eyes of Torah, which is usually they're really, you, you are really amazed because it's really, uh, often uh, I learned Talmud many times with, with the best lawyers. And as we sat in the class and we learned the Talmud together, lo and behold, many times the, the lawyers were kind of erupted. Wow, I spent so many, all my years in, in medical, in uh, law school, I never, I never saw such deep discussion of the topic. So it's an, uh, I often the, all the law, many lawyers, all the lawyers that study Torah will tell you that, that the depth of the Torah is uh, unparalleled. And one more, one more follow up. Just in my personal situation, I will never be a judge. I will not be in Congress to make laws and all of that. I know in my personal dealings with people, I need to be just the way I treat them. But in the bigger scheme of things, since I can't do those other things by serving on a jury when I'm called to serve, is that part of fulfilling this commandment, courts of justice? Yes, uh, but again, now you now are on, you rely on your own reflexes, on your own knowledge. Uh, and and, and Noahide and Judaism is a religion of learning. When you go to study Torah, uh, you learn. You learn, uh, study the study the Talmud about uh, uh, the law, certain laws, or uh, discussion. So you take a small segment of the Talmud, you discuss it in the class. But whatever you derive from here may change your aspect of what what is what is uh, on individual level. It's not that uh, you are becoming a judge, but you get the perception of what the justice is, and uh, it's a, uh, again that that's because the Torah elevated to. That's the only way. Sandy, to connect to Hashem, to get the Shekhinah. So it's not just a, a, a right way to do it because uh, it, it helps the society. If you want to connect to the Shekhinah, uh, that what the Torah says here, that's the way to connect to her. When you study even a small segment of the Torah, just one chapter of the Mishnah, Uh, you connect to God. There is no other way. 
you can pray, you can sing, you can meditate. It's not enough. It's not the same level of the shechina. You want to 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 experience the shechina in your heart. That's the that's the only positive way you can go, because the only positive commandment allow you to do that, to become holy. So how can become holy? Which means how can you you feel the shechina in your heart? By learning about the law of charity, by learning. If you if you learn this, then you know what to do, and you uh, your 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 relationship to your friend to your, to your family everything changes. Uh, by this particular commandment, somehow the Torah elected this one more than more than more than any other commandment. He said, because here the two attributes agree. They love you, Shachim. I love you, and the Lokim love you. If you follow the that, if you follow this particular commandment, which is on the surface has nothing to do with religion, but this is a key to holiness for Noahide and for Israel too. So, so uh, why, why are the students sitting in yeshiva day and night and learn? What do they gain from it? They don't get any money, no status, nothing, but they get the shechina. It changes the heart. And so, so that's that's what the Torah, that's what the number five is. Again, it's 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 nice because you climb up on the ladder. You first climb up on the dollar tree, dollar tree on the negative side. Once you reach the top of the number four, then you reach the positive one. So we said holy place. Needs first of all prohibition, not to preach, and then positive one. So you, of course, you follow all the negative one, but that only render your heart capable of getting the next level, which turn to be justice, which is a total surprise. Thank you, Rabbi. It's a very, very good lecture tonight. Yeah. Well, thank you. Think about it. Next week we'll have Hanukkah. So we'll skip mm -hmm. that and we'll meet God willing two weeks from now. Okay. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. Bye. Happy Hanukkah. Bye. -bye. Thank you.